only me. No, honey, it's not only you. She picked up the whole entire floor waffle. Okay, now let go of my ego. <laughs> Getting your hair stuck in the seatbelt. I get into my car too fast, and then it's just like, hello, can I help you? How do I picture I'll look with a ponytail versus how I really look? Okay, swap that out with JoJo Siwa and we good. Also, don't even get me started about how Hello friends, it's me. Today we're checking out some struggles only girls will understand. You go to sleep, you put the blankie over you. Oh, but it starts to get a little toasty. So you stick some toes out. But wait, the demon that lives under your bed is like, ooh, a toe. And you like, nah, we ain't risking that. Okay, you know what, but I actually sleep like this. Y'all don't see no demon pulling me down to the underworld every night. So I think we're good. But also, I feel like I start out like this. Cause it's cold at night, and I wake up like this. So it's weird. I like have my foot out and my butt out. Cause those get pretty toasty. When you're on your period and you sneeze. Oh, <laughs> wow, wow. Big yikes. <laughs> I mean, are they wrong? Don't you just love having nails and have to flush one of these toilets? See, I have these toilets in my house and I always have long nails. I got them pretty short this time. So before this video, I went to the bathroom and I flushed and I actually, I don't know if y'all see this, but I almost broke my thumbnail in half from pushing the flush button. This isn't the first time this happened. I've had so many nails like snap off because of this. Oh, and don't even get me started about these lip balms in a can. Life hack, I do it with this part of my thumb. I'll just like or I'll do it on the top of my nail. Oh, that seemed inappropriate. <laughs> but I try to overall avoid these. Getting off a chair in summer. Let's hope there's no butt sweat on the chair. And then you get up. Ew. I don't think this is a girl only problem. I think this is a boy problem too. I think this is a everyone problem because it's hot. You're going to sweat unless you were born without sweat glands. You know, thank goodness for ventilated seats in my car because this is a problem. 13 year olds now versus me when I was 13. I see a lot of these and I feel like girls when I was 13 We didn't know how to do makeup. We still steal in our mom's lipstick. We didn't have James Charles We didn't have makeup tutorials. We didn't have Morphe stores. We didn't have Sephora. So, you know, this is acceptable You know what's good about makeup? It makes you pretty. You know what's bad about makeup? Literally destroyed if you drop it on the ground. Don't even get me started on cleaning this. I know there are like life hacks where you can put something in this and then <laughs> smooth it back together. But yeah, girl just like leaves it like this. I feel like sometimes I choose to suffer. And this is one of those times where I just deal with this until it's done. Okay, I think this is just big booty problems because me and my friend have this problem where every pair of jeans we wear, the back is always got a gap. Why? Easy wedgie access? I think not. I mean, I've kind of just given up with jeans. I have jeans, but every time I put them on, I'm like, why would I wear this when I could just be wearing leggings or sweatpants and be comfortable? Do people who wear jeans just not like to be comfortable? Or I get it, you want something heavy duty. Whoa, is that Liza Koshi? Without the eyebrows? This has never happened to me. But somebody came over to my house, slept on my white couch, and left their brow marks imprinted upon my cushion. Not as perfect as this, but some of y'all need setting spray. When you got long hair, this is what your shower looks like. <laughs> Y'all don't even want to see mine. There's two kind of people that do this. One that run their fingers through the hair in the shower, take out that gunk, and then slap Ooh. it on the wall. Or you can be a normal person and then put it on the ground or like in the corner or just not on the wall. Just love walking into the store. Oh, a cute white shirt in my size. And then just make up. Some nasty harlot smeared her orange foundation all over the neckline. Why does this always happen? You know, in Japan, they make you wear a bag over your head. So when you put it on, it doesn't get the makeup on it. Literally ruins. The best feeling in the world when you come home and undo that class. Oh, yes. You know the best feeling in the world? Just not wearing a bra. I feel like it hurts my shoulders, digs into my ribs more than it supports. You feel me? Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. After a day of supporting them apples or melons, I, it doesn't even matter. You're gonna get that nasty red line. Just digging into your skin. I can feel this photo. <laughs> Y'all remember these chairs? I mean, I remember them. Do you guys still use these chairs in school? I swear, this has ripped out at least half a scalpful of hair throughout my years of education. Like, every time you wanna lean into the back of your hair, your hair just goes like, mm, gets staticky, and then winds itself around the little metal parts. Delicious. Hair follicles. 
How I picture I'll look with a ponytail versus how I really look. Okay, swap that out with Jojo Siwa and we good. But do you realize how much work goes into a ponytail like this? And most celebrities that have those super perfect ponytails, it's just like a clip-on extension. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is literally the one that Ariana Grande uses. INH Hair makes these. Bro, check this out. Anybody on Instagram that be wearing one of these? It's a clip-on pony. Damn, it actually looks really good. I wanna wear it. Also, don't even get me started about how whack my hairline is. Okay, now I'm really looking like the dude on the right. <laughs> You didn't know pain until one of these popped you in the head as a little girl. Ooh. Yeah. This one girl at school literally used these as slingshots. And like did this and like on my head. And that's how I felt that pain for the first time because my mom didn't used to buy those. And then we played in the sandbox. I shoved sand at her. When you have to pee really bad but you just did your nails and they're still wet. This is why you do gel polish. But the other day, I did my nails myself because all the nail salons were closed. And I really had to go to the bathroom. And I'm like, what do I do? Like, my nails are wet. Like, you literally cannot do anything but sit like this. Or like this. Or, no, you, you can't even do that. Somehow they're going to get messed up. But anyways, I'm impatient. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to go to the bathroom. And then I ruined the whole thing. And then I had to go to the nail salon and fix it in the morning after I spent like 30 minutes trying to do my own nails at home. Wait, is this even an issue for people who don't have fake nails opening up cans? Cause I thought it was like, in case you break a nail, are all nails susceptible to can openings? Or just fake nails? I think I've only broken a nail like this once. It was already like flimsy. But the trick is to do it with other parts of your fingers, just not your nails. This can't be a girl only problem. Do you guys not get their sunglasses stuck in their hair? I mean, if you got that long, luscious TikTok e-boy hair, I'm sure it does. She just done gave up. Just cut it all off. I don't know why they still put those little uh, nose bridge suction cups. I don't know what to call them. That's why I like plastic glasses where they don't have them. When there's only one left and you take care of it, like it were, baby. Nah, I got one left. You're getting treated like the rest. No, I have a lot. I have a lot. And I will always find more. It ain't like toilet paper right now. Bro, I went to Costco today. Toilet paper, paper towels, sold out completely. You're only allowed to buy two cases of water. Anyways. How it looks like. A look a stock image of a woman having a cramp. Here, let me make it more believable. How it feels like. <laughs> Yeah, okay. That's just about as accurate as Acura. When you're doing your eyebrows, your left eyebrow be looking flawless, like a whole entire Disney princess, as majestic as Ariel, and then right eyebrow. <laughs> okay, but where is the lie? This ain't even bootleg. Hot diggity sea dog. You know, I feel like after years of doing my eyebrows, I feel like we're in a pretty good place. Do you think one looks better than the other? I mean, they're definitely sisters and not twins, but like, I think left does actually look way better than the right. This jumpsuit is awesome. Until you have to go to the bathroom. Okay, this is me all summer long. Because I always wear jumpsuits. Because I can't seem to put together an outfit by myself. So, jumpsuit. When you're fashionably challenged. Especially when you use it in a public restroom. And they got those big little gaps where you can practically stick an entire eyeball in. So when I take it off, I'm just like staring down the crack. Make sure nobody looks. Smash like if this happens to you. This is what every girl's hand looks like walking out of a Sephora. You know what? I'm stupid and I always do this and then I never wipe it off. I'm just like, you know what? Liquid lips is a really 24 hour wear. I'm gonna see how long this lasts for. And then that gosh darn hood of beauty where I swatched it on my hand and it wouldn't dry. It somehow got all over my shirt, all over my sleeves. And I looked at it, it was, it was a white shirt. And I'm like, wait, oh my God, like two hours hours later that dang liquid lipstick did not dry smash like a relatable life hacks when you walk out of a sephora wipe your hands only me no honey it's not only you i mean you should probably not step on a great look where you're going when you're wearing heels because you are very vulnerable but now she picked up the whole entire floor waffle okay now let go my ego <laughs> Oh, this is a first. <laughs> Getting your hair stuck in the seatbelt. This never happened to me. But it has gotten stuck in the window. Like, I'll have my hair down. I get into my car too fast. And then it's just like, hello, can I help you? One time I was like, oh, it's probably just one hair. And then I just like tried to yank it instead of opening the door, collecting my hair, and closing it like a normal human being. I decided to just yank it. Follicles were lost that day. When there's something in your eye, but you don't want to smudge your makeup. Oh, you got mascara on on your bottom lashes? Oh, sucks to suck. Sometimes you see me like, there is nothing.
nothing you can do but suffer. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below and let me know which one of these happens to you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button on the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh! I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.